It can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. Elon Musk described the ultra-fast learning ability of Optimus Gen 3, but to turn observation into precise action. Every joint and motor inside the robot must be assembled with a tolerance of no more than one millimeter. When the goal is 10,000 robots operating 24-7, the real challenge isn't software, it's every bolt, every assembly step. So what enables Tesla to achieve this level of precision and scale in the real world? Before we begin, please help us reach 8,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. Why is assembling each part of the Tesla Bot Gen 3 extremely important? When talking about the Tesla Bot, also known as Optimus Gen 3, many people often think of its smooth movements, flexible grasping ability, or its 22 joint hands that move like real humans. But behind all those motions are hundreds of mechanical parts, cables, sensors, and motors assembled with nearly absolute precision. Every component, whether a finger or a knee joint assembly, must fit perfectly with the others for the robot to operate smoothly, stably, and safely. And that is why the step of assembling each part is so important. Currently, Tesla aims to produce 10,000 Optimus robots per year in the U.S., and in the long term, this number could increase to hundreds of thousands or even millions if robots are introduced into households. But to reach such large figures, Tesla cannot assemble robots manually like many current robotics companies. They need an industrial assembly process where each robot module is joined like premium Lego blocks, quickly but with extremely high accuracy. For example, the arm of Optimus Gen 3 includes tiny motors, force sensors, and signal wires, all contained in a very narrow space. If a wire is off by just a few millimeters, or a motor is not tightened with the correct torque, the robot will become unbalanced, consume more energy, or fail to operate continuously 24-7 as expected. Even a small error in the wrist area can cause the entire arm to misalign affecting its gripping ability, work performance, or even causing danger when operating near humans. Additionally, each robot has a central processor with Tesla's FSD chip, the same type used in their self-driving cars along with numerous vision sensors, force sensors, gyroscopes. If during assembly, even one sensor is placed incorrectly or a wire is not connected properly, the entire robot will respond incorrectly to its environment. Imagine a robot carrying goods with a faulty force sensor instead of gently lifting a box, it might squeeze too hard as if breaking the object. This is not only dangerous, but also makes it impractical for real use. A very special point of Tesla is that everything is designed for mass production. That means each part is designed for quick assembly, easy inspection, and simple replacement if needed. Unlike research robots that take weeks to assemble one unit, Tesla aims to reduce assembly time to just a few hours per robot similar to how they produce the Model 3 or Cybertruck. Finally, assembly is not just putting pieces together. It is also the stage where the robot is imbued with a soul when AI software, neural networks, and operating systems are installed and calibrated to match each sensor and every machine body. If assembled incorrectly, the software will misinterpret input data like a lazy eye, making the brain unable to process images correctly. Elon Musk once said, if you can't produce millions of robots at low cost and high reliability, then the idea will forever remain science fiction. Therefore, every assembly step from the hands, the AI brain, to the mechanical skeleton must be checked extremely rigorously. This is not only a technical issue, but a vital factor for Tesla's ambition to robotize the world. Which step in the Tesla bot assembly process is the most important and complex? Among the entire assembly process of Optimus Gen 3, the hands and shoulder joints, two seemingly small parts but among the most complex, are technical highlights that even Tesla's team spent months optimizing. These are not only where the highest density of mechanical details are concentrated, but also require perfect integration between ultra-small mechanics, sophisticated transmission, and multi-layer centers. 
Optimus Gen 3's hand has 11 degrees of freedom, meaning each finger can move independently, almost like a human hand. Tesla uses small actuators arranged diagonally and nested inside a space just a few centimeters wide. An engineer once likened it to installing a gearbox, braking system, and nervous system all inside a human palm, without allowing even one wire to be wrong. If one actuator is installed incorrectly or the force sensor at a fingertip is inaccurate, the entire robotic hand will lose control over force, resulting in gripping too hard, breaking objects, or too lightly, dropping items. Especially in factory environments, where the robot needs precise manipulation of screws, tools, or fragile objects, a small assembly mistake can cause the entire product to be discarded. Equally important is the shoulder joint and spine assembly, where the upper and lower body modules connect. This area bears heavy loads, transmits force from the torso to the arms and head, and integrates many signal wires and the main power transmission. This part must be assembled by ultra-precise robots, because even a 1-2 to two degree misalignment can destabilize the whole posture and gait of Optimus. This explains why in Genesis 3, the robot can balance on one leg, a capability achievable only when the torso shoulder leg assembly is extremely precise and synchronized. So what does Tesla use to assemble Optimus? Humans? Robots? Or does the robot assemble itself? The interesting answer is, all three. Tesla is currently combining humans, traditional industrial robots, and the Optimus robots themselves to assist in assembling other robots a model gradually taking shape at their U.S. factory. In the early stages, tasks requiring high dexterity such as installing control circuits into knees, connecting signal wires, or placing force sensors into hands are still performed by human technicians. However, by 2025, Tesla is gradually transferring these steps to robotic arms, similar to what they did on the Model Y production line. One of Tesla's breakthroughs is the use of collaborative robots, cobots, robots, designed to work safely alongside humans. These smaller robotic arms are used for screwing bolts, applying sensors, and mounting motor assemblies onto Optimus's skeleton. Each operation is immediately checked by AI cameras to ensure no errors. What's especially fascinating is that Tesla is now using Optimus Gen 3 robots themselves to help assemble other robots. Elon Musk shared, Our goal is for the robot to assemble itself. Maybe not 100%, but a large portion will be done by Optimus itself. For example, during a live stream in March 2024, an Optimus robot was seen carrying trays of batteries and placing them exactly where an engineer would install them into the frame. By May, another video showed the robot installing pins in the wrist assembly or folding arm joints into optimal positions for easier component installation. If this progress continues, the vision of a factory that self-replicates robots may become reality. Another notable point. Tesla integrates real-time AI error detection into the assembly line, similar to the Vision QC, computer vision quality control system they use for electric vehicles. AI cameras scan every assembly step from wire tension to bolt, torque, clock, and flag errors if they detect deviations. This minimizes human errors and ensures every optimist leaving the factory meets uniform standards, whether assembled by humans or robots. At Tesla, assembly is no longer just the final step in product creation, but the beginning of an intelligent robotic entity coming to life. Why? Because during assembly, engineers install the AI, upload neural data, and synchronize the entire control system for each Optimus. This is like awakening the robot's brain where hardware starts to interact with software, like a body gaining consciousness. In the future, when Tesla's neural networks are sufficiently trained, the AI on Optimus will not need to learn from scratch. Similar to how a new phone restores from iCloud, a newly assembled robot will download the memory of thousands of other robots. In other words, each robot produced afterward will be smarter than the previous one. But to achieve this, every sensor and joint must be installed exactly according to the template. Otherwise, 
the AI will receive faulty data and learn incorrectly from the start. It seems that assembling each component of Optimus Gen 3 is not just a technical job, it is the foundation for a large-scale robotics era. With every motor, wire, and rotating joint assembled precisely, Tesla will be able to mass-produce robots just like they manufacture cars tens of thousands per year, with uniform quality and optimized cost. And when robots themselves contribute to assembling other robots, Tesla not only solves labor challenges but also lays the groundwork for an intelligent replicating factory model where each new Optimus born is smarter, cheaper, and learns from millions of hours of work done by previous robots. That is why Elon Musk says, When you can produce millions of identical robots at under $25,000 each, a global labor revolution will begin. And everything starts from a single screw tightened to the right torque, a hand assembled correctly. Once again, please help us reach 8,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How can Tesla maintain consistent quality while producing millions of Optimus robots? As Tesla moves toward producing millions of Optimus robots annually, maintaining uniform quality across every single unit becomes the greatest challenge. To tackle this issue, Tesla employs a data-driven standardization method in which each robot is assigned a unique digital profile that records all parameters related to electricity, mechanical force, sensor feedback, and wire mapping down to the millimeter. This profile allows Tesla to precisely track and control every difference between robots produced at different factories around the world. Even a minor deviation beyond the allowed threshold will be immediately detected by the AI system, which will send an alert to prevent errors from spreading through the production line. Thanks to this, even with processes distributed across multiple locations, product quality remains remarkably consistent. Tesla doesn't just perform quality checks after assembly is complete. It also implements an automatic calibration system during the modular assembly process. As robotic arms attach components like hands or legs to the robot's torso, they use force sensors and 3D cameras to measure alignment accuracy and automatically adjust if any error exceeds the permitted tolerance. This solution completely eliminates the accumulation of small errors throughout each step, which could otherwise cause major deviations at the end of the process. According to internal reports, this self-correcting system has reduced errors in the Optimus Gen 3 trial production phase by over 85%, while also saving thousands of hours otherwise spent on manual inspection and rework. Another equally important factor in ensuring quality is Tesla's strategy of reducing design complexity. The number of parts in Optimus Gen 3 has been streamlined to just about 100 major modules, far fewer than the thousands of small scattered components found in traditional industrial robots. This design not only makes the robot lighter, only 56 kilograms, but also significantly reduces the number of quality inspection points required. For example, the Gen 3 robot hand consists of just 27 mechanical parts, yet still retains flexibility nearly equivalent to a human hand. Reducing the number of components minimizes the likelihood of defects and makes quality control easier and more efficient. Tesla is also preparing for a globally distributed production model, where modules such as arms, legs, or battery packs will be manufactured at different factories including locations like Texas, Mexico, and Berlin. This entire process is synchronized and centrally managed through a digital system called the Tesla Manufacturing Cloud. This system monitors and compares the technical specifications of each module from various facilities to ensure that all meet standards before final assembly. If it detects any incompatibility in torque, electrical resistance, or operating temperature, the system will automatically request replacement or recalibration, ensuring that the final product's quality remains unaffected even when produced across multiple sites. In addition, with pre-orders already placed for Optimus by businesses in logistics, manufacturing, and healthcare, Tesla is expected to produce between 50,000 and 100,000 robots in the next few years to meet early demand. The pressure to maintain quality in this scenario is extremely high 
as any mass defect could have severe consequences for the brand and for post-sale maintenance costs. To address this, Tesla has built a three-layer inspection process. Individual module, testing before, before assembly, testing during integration into the robot body, and full system checks before packaging and delivery. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.